Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. I do not know the model number on this Asus laptop, but I'll leave it in the title. I need to look at the back cover and I do not have the back cover next to me, but it looks something like this. Touch and the inside looks something like this. The laptop is dead, absolutely no signs of power. Let's plug the charging cable just to confirm. Okay, the charging cable is plugged in. And if we press on the power button right here, nothing, dead. While the laptop is plugged in, let's quickly inspect it under a thermal cam just to see if there's anything obvious. Okay, and nothing obvious at all. No heat spots anywhere on the board. While the charge is still plugged in, let's do some measurements. I want to look for the two power MOSFETs. And I see two of them right here. And let's measure. What do we get? If we measure here, we get 19 volts. 19 volts. If we measure here, and 19 volts is not passing through. We have zero volts. What about our gate? We have zero volts on our gate. And of course, we're going to have zero here. And we do not care after this point here. Right now, we have 19 volts here. And the other thing I want to check is if we have a short to ground. Meter in diode mode. Actually, I need to unplug first. Otherwise, we're going to get a short to ground. So let's measure. And we do not have a short to ground. We have a voltage drop of 0 0.49, which is perfect. Right now, the problem is 19 volts is going in, but it's not coming out. Since we do not have a short on the drain of the second MOSFET here, we know that we do not have a short circuit on the board. So we want to test the condition of the MOSFETs and see if they are good. Meter in continuity mode. And let's test from drain to source. We should not have a continuous path. Otherwise, 19 volts would have passed. And if we test from drain to gate, no short. And if we test from source to gate, and look at that. We have a short between source to gate. And that's not good. That's a very good indication that our MOSFET is bad. What if we test here? Drain to source, nothing. Drain to gate and gate to source. We have a short here too. Right now we do not know if the problem is this MOSFET, this MOSFET or both of them. We're going to start by removing this MOSFET here and then we're going to test for a short between source and gate on this MOSFET. If we no longer have a short here, then we know that the problem is this one here. If we do remove this and we still have a short here, then we're going to remove this MOSFET and test for a short again and see what happens. Process of elimination. So let's start with MOSFET number one. This is an N channel MOSFET, 30 volts. And let's measure. Meter in continuity mode, and we're going to measure between here and here, and we still have a short. So it could be that this MOSFET is what's bad. Let's remove this one. And now we're going to measure to see if we still have a short between Sourcing gate. Do we have a short from here to here? And look at that. We no longer have a shosh. Shosh. We no longer have a short between gate and source. What about here? We no longer have a short between gate and source. So this MOSFET was probably good. 
or it's possible that that MOSFET is also bad, but one way to find out. Right now you see a blob here and a blob here, but that doesn't matter because all those three pins are connected and all those four pins are connected. Let me get rid of the glare. Much better. So let's see what happens if we solder that shit back. Let's see, are we gonna get a short between source and gate? Meter in continuity mode and we're gonna measure from here to here. And we do not have a short, so this MOSFET is good. Now we have to replace this MOSFET. And where do we find it from? Right now I have a donor board right next to me and this is a very common MOSFET used on most laptops. So we're going to try to extract it from a donor board I have next to me. We should have that MOSFET in stock, but I do not want to look for it right now. I have a donor board here that we can extract it from. This is an N channel 30 volt MOSFET. On Asus laptops, usually it's an E4 or E5. And this one should be like this. And let's prep those pads here. Right now, before we plug the charging cable, I'm gonna connect the screen cable again. I had to disconnect it so that when we solder the MOSFETs here, we're not gonna end up burning that cable. All right, and let's see. Plug the cable in, and maybe we can plug the battery in as well. And <laughs> look at that. We see a light here. Ta-da! Windows is loading, as you can see. And the job is done. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.